Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am going to share with you this junk journal that I've made. Before I get into the flip through of the junk journal, I'm going to show you a couple things that I've done inside with stamping. So bear with me as I switch that into the video and then we'll pick back up with my doing the flip through. I'm working on a junk journal and I thought I would share with you how I stamp across the top of the page. So I've got my Misty here and this is a page that's going into my journal and I've already folded it in half and I've stamped on the other sides and what I do is I line it up kind of in the middle especially if I've got a border stamp that's going to go off both sides and I want to make sure it goes all the way across at the top and I use my magnets to hold the paper into place. Then I place my rubber stamp, I'll just go ahead and do that so you can see, right across the top where I want it, and I've got this Brutus Monroe border stamp, there's a whole set in fancy borders, so it has all these fun borders here, so I've lined this up at the top, I'm going to use my Misty and close the door and pick up the stamp. Then I have some Distressed Ink and Victorian Velvet. I chose this color because it's somewhat light. And I'm not even making sure that I have a lot of ink on my stamp. And I'll just press. And I've got the image across the top. And it adds just a little bit more character and color to the page without a whole lot of effort. Just stamping across the top. So I'm going to do this on several pages, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the whole journal, how it looks as a finished product. Some of my pages in my journal, I leave the full 12 inches long, and then I make a page like so, so this will flip out. Well, when you do that, this part here isn't the exact size of the journal. And when you want to stamp on it, it will have an exposed area over here on the side. So I just have a scrap piece of paper and I slide that in and put a magnet to hold it in place. And then I just go ahead and stamp over that. And then that will give that continuous look all the way across the top. So I thought that would be a neat tip to share with you as well while I am creating my journal here. So I'll continue on and I'll come back and show you at the end what the journal looks like. Now that the journal is complete, what I've got here is a traveler size notebook. On the cover, this is a page from Seven Gypsies that I picked up at Tuesday morning and I just cut it to fit the cover size of a traveler's notebook insert. This is an image from Calico Collage and what I do is I print them to fit two to a page. Actually I did it more than that. Two full pages on one eight and a half by eleven and it gets this great little size which I think is perfect to put on the front of a traveler's notebook. Here is some stitching over a book page that I colored with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. On the inside, I found this really funky washi tape that's made by Scotch. And I thought it was kind of fun and funky, so it's kind of different, so I used that. And then this down here, the Life is Art little tuck spot, that is a Brutus Monroe stamp stamped with Brutus Monroe detail ink. This is a coloring book page that I picked up the coloring book at the dollar store. Here is an image out of one of those daily calendars where you tear off the day as it passes. And I just thought the images were bright and pretty and I wanted to use that. This is a map that a friend of mine gave me years ago. I think I've had it for 20 years. They're huge topographical maps that show the area. And I thought, well, these would be great journal pages. This is an envelope gift card that I picked up. And I just thought it was just pretty with the image that is on the card. And I stamped on the front of the envelope with Brutus Monroe Rose's background stamp with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. 
These are some of my new journal cards that I've been making. These are scraps of paper that I had that I have stamped various stamps and sewn across the top. The fabric on here is leftovers from my sewing group that I attend. They were going to throw it away, so I said, oh, I would like to have that. So they gave it a bunch of, of it to me. This is a napkin over a popcorn sack, and it's got a couple of little journaling cards inside. Here's some pages that came from an actual Traveler's Notebook insert for travel, and I thought that was just kind of a neat thing to add into this journal. Some scrapbook paper, and I showed you how I stamped across here. See how it looks all the way across? This is wrapping paper that I've had for a really long time, and I just thought it was a nice heavy way to be pretty inside the journal. Tuck spots that are made on the grid paper. I save the bottom half by folding it up and then just sewing on the sides. This is cardstock weight uh, scrapbook paper in here too on several of the pages. This one here is the thicker one. This page here is from my spray box. Whenever I spray things with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist or my handmade sprays, I have this as a mop-up and I think it works as a great journal page. This page here is wallpaper. I have a whole bunch of wallpaper samples from wallpaper books and I just made a little pocket holder using old pages and on the other side since it said what kind of paper it was, I just painted it with acrylic paint so I think it just gives another added texture. And then my butterflies in the center, whenever I have a scrap left over from die cutting or just a scrap that maybe it's not big enough for much of anything else, I will take a Martha Stewart punch or a Tim Holtz punch and I've got this Imagination's heart punch and I'll punch out the shapes. Flip out. I just have fun trying to find uses for all these papers and odds and ends that I have in my studio. This one I decided to have a tuck spot here and this is a notebook that I picked up at Michael's I think a while back. It has three hole little punch on the side so you put it in a special size journal and I just cut that off because I think it works great and then I made this flip out so it's a pocket and a flip out right here in one page. Here's another one of my cards that I stamped and sewed. I'm really thankful to my little sewing group for giving me all their little scraps. I didn't have that many scraps because I used them up when I actually make a project. It's a tuck spot here that I didn't put anything in. I may find something and stash it in there. The other side. The popcorn bag with some little journal cards inside. Another Brutus Monroe. This piece of paper is a punch card for old computer systems and I just trimmed it to fit my needs as make a tuck spot and stamped. A couple of embellished paper clips so you can add your own embellishments as well. And then here's the back side. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little traveler's notebook today, how I stamped across the top of the pages and using the Calico Collage and Seven Gypsies and this paper is from Canvas Corp as well as the stamps from Brutus Monroe. So thanks so much for watching today. If you have any comments or questions or requests, Maybe you want to have me do a video where I show in more detail an element that I make for my journals. Just comment below what you would like to see and I will do my best to add that into my video making. Have a fabulous day everybody. Make sure you comment, subscribe, share, and follow me on my new Facebook group, Friendly Junk Journal People. If you're into junk journaling, you want to talk about junk journaling, you have projects, you have questions, come join this one group 
where you can do all those things in one place and not have to hop back and forth and say, am I posting in the right group? This is the right group and we're friendly and we're helpful and it's just a lot of fun. So come join us and have a fabulous day. Bye.